Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version! I'm at Nidhi and we are on our track to become the flying type gym leader. We have one flying type <laughs> and one soon, uh, or well, not so soon to be flying type. I have been leveling up. We have now both these on level 10 and Charmander learned Ember, as you can see, the first fire type move. And Pitchy learned Sand Attack. So, Sand Attack is a pretty, well, cheap move, I would say. No, uh, well. It is an uh, annoying move if it is used against you because it makes your attacks miss and after a few sand attacks you are almost unable to hit anything. So, let's see. Gary? Hey, Nidhi! You're going to the Pokemon League. Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? I have two of them. Not just one. Ah, you have two too, I see. Alright, you're on, Gary. Send out your Pitchy. My Charmander is way cooler than your Pitchy. Not too bad. No! <laughs> Sand attack. As I was saying, so it's so <laughs> it's already starting. Damn you, Gary! <laughs> well, please, now it's enough. If you only had one Pokemon and couldn't switch, I mean that would be. Look at that! I I'm hardly hitting. Uh, <sighs> and he is critting me. All right, I see. Well, well. Of course you are. Come on, one more Ember Charmander. No, not more. Ah. You know what? Charmander, I'm so disappointed. And he crits, of course he crits. At least we have Pitchy down. So, next Pokemon Squirtle! Um, no, actually, I, it's not a good idea to switch. Ah, your Pitchy was higher level than your Squirtle? You're doing something wrong, Gary. Well, actually, not really. <laughs> Can happen. One level, more or less. So, thank you, Pitchy! Thanks for not disappointing me. We defeated Gary. Oh, you just locked. Well, maybe. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. The cool Gary theme. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thanks, Gary, I guess. Now, I will not fight a level 2 Nidoran. Let's run. So if you're not familiar with Pokemon at all, which I hope you aren't, I mean not not familiar, so I hope you're familiar with it, um, you cannot run away from trainer battles, but you can run away from random battles. At least most of the time. Sometimes it will fail. Alright, so... 
our next stop will be going north. Uh, we haven't explored here, I think. My daddy loves Pokemon too! Alright, nice. Calling him up... <laughs> Coming up with nicknames is fun, but hard. Simple names are the easiest to remember. Remember, remember... Nothing over here. The gym here is uh, actually not occupied. When I go to shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest. Well, we do, we do. Uh, so no point in going to the gym yet. Ah, I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Sure you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Uh, well, yes. Uh, time is money, go along then. Thank you. So he would have been the uh, tutorial on catching Pokemon. Route 2, Viridian City, Pewter City. Alright, so what I did not mention last time, which is kind of a big deal, is that this version was created by Game Freak and Nintendo. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, the first generation consists of 151 Pokémon. Um, <clears throat> are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Ratatatata! Maybe small, but its bite is wicked. Did you get one? Well, no, i uh, sorry, I'm not into Ratata training. Trainer tips! Weaken Pokemon before the end. Yeah, we have heard. I came here with some friends, and they're out for Pokemon fights. Ah, thanks for the heads up. As I was saying, so 151 Pokemon are in the first generation. Uh, not all of them can be caught in blue or red, so you are required to trade between versions in order to obtain all of them. Uh, for example, the starter Pokemon, although you can get any of them, you can only get one. So if you want to have all of them, for potion use antidote, get it at Pokemarts. If you want to get all of the starter Pokemon, you will have to trade with other people. Trainer tips, if you want to avoid battles, stay away from grass areas. Well, yeah. I ran out of Pokeballs. Well, well, I cannot carry, uh, I cannot capture anymore. That's okay, sometimes there are hidden items, I don't remember the positions of these. Hey! Battle! Go! Alright. If you ask so nicely. Bug catcher wants to fight. Bug catcher has a bug. We have fire. Fire is effective against bugs. Bugs are uh, also weak against flying types. So, shouldn't be a problem, that guy here. Oh, pitchy. Cannot one hit them? Ah, that's okay. This stage in the game, that's really hard to one hit things. So, another trainer. Hey! I'm a trainer, let's battle! Alright. <laughs> Weedle again. We fight it with fire. So, but growl and uh, other status moves, I'm not a huge fan of them actually. Especially later on when you have uh, beefed up Pokemon, you can 
most often, well, get around without using them. So Kakuna is uh, interesting because, well, alright, level 7 it should learn Tackle, I think. No, 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 no. But, uh, actually Kakuna, usually they only do Harden, I think. And Weedle. Nope. Although I should train my Pitchy a bit, I think. It's falling behind. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon? Uh, yes, you did. Contact Professor Oak to get your Pokedex evaluated. Well, yeah, okay. An antidote. Nice. So... What's next? Uh, in this forest, if you did not know, you have a 5% chance to catch a Pikachu or encounter a Pikachu. Pikachu being obviously one of the most known uh, Pokemon in the series. I personally am not a big fan of Pikachu, but... Uh, if you like Pikachu, well, here you can get one, early on. Alright, so... Uh, what else could I talk about? Well... Uh, I have to make some more notes. Oh yeah, the... Uh, the stats of the Pokémon, they are kind of randomized. Um, yeah, I cannot catch Pokemon from other trainers, that's clear. Hey, wait up! In a hurry? Well, kind of. As I was saying, so the stats, they are randomized. Uh, they have a hidden stat called IV in later versions. Here, sometimes called DV, I think. And these stats are determined upon encounter. So, if you want to get perfect Pokemon, uh, you will have to get extremely lucky, at least in this version. And as I said, they are hidden, so you cannot check these stats uh, anywhere. Well, I guess you could buy. Uh, you're good, I give you that, or what did he say? Something like this. So uh, you could perhaps do it by inspecting memory or something like this, but apart from that uh, it's invisible. So there's that and then there's also the effort values or uh, EVs as we call them. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? Yes, I have. Uh, they can be cut put down by special Pokemon moves. Yes. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Okay, thanks. Uh, where was I? Well, EV effort values. You can get them by defeating various Pokemon and by getting them, you get a modifier to stats, uh, actually. Uh, all of these things are uh, better done in later versions. They are more, more obvious and there are ways to find out if you have a perfect IV Pokémon later on, uh, in later generations. Any Pokémon that takes part in battle earns XP, yes. What do we have here? So, yes, I know. We heard that like three times now that they are easier to be catched, be caught uh, by weakening them. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught by the trainer. Ah, 
very well. Uh, are my Pokemon hurt? Well, a bit. Yawn. When Chigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. So I'm not sure if the uh, anime series started before this one, but uh, if you have seen the anime series, you will know this song. I think. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon! Ha! I'm on the phone. Scram. Okay. Goodbye. There are many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers. But Pewter's Chim, Brock, is totally into it. Pewter's Chim's Brock, alright. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, well, no. I'm spraying Repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Uh, cool, uh, do, you, do you have some of that stuff for me? Notice, thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. Alright. Uh, well, no. Really? You haven't checked out the museum? Well, you absolutely should. I love that soundtrack. It's right here! You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it! See you around! Uh, well, no thanks. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, we will perhaps later on have to enter up there, but we cannot enter right now, so... Let's explore! Neither on sit. All right. Our Pokémon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokémon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. Yes, right. So this is another mechanic. So trade a Pokémon gain XP faster, but. You can only control them if you have enough patches. Your trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me. Just doing it for the soundtrack. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Well... And he goes to the right. The right is blocked. Where did he go? Teleportation at its finest. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. They appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Alright. What do we have here? Good things can happen if you raise Pokemon. Diligently, even the weak ones. Okay. A shady old man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs 500 Poke Dollars. Well, let's see. That's not that much for a Pokemon. I mean, come on. Hi there. May I help you? Well... You have potions. I do want some potions. Uh, six? Alrighty. I don't... Oh, okay. I'm poor. <laughs> it seems like... I mean, look! A potion! A simple potion costs 300. A Pokémon, I mean, no matter what the stats or whatever, costs 500. I call that a fair deal. 
I personally, I mean, maybe it's just me. Perhaps I value life a bit too much, but... <laughs> yeah, well, yes. So, I think I will be taking on the gym trainers and see if we are actually strong enough to survive, kind of. Hiya! I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon matches, could be made easier. Uh, what? Uh, you mean like I should put Pokemon with a type advantage front? Stop right there, kiddo. You're still light years from facing Brock. <clears throat> Alright, I'll leave it at that. Junior trainer wants to fight. He has a Diglett. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> truth be told, we don't have... Well, crit! Come on! We don't have a lot of uh, good attacks against ground and or rock types. Ground types are better than rock types. So far. And you can see, he is already level 11, and... Brock will be fa uh, tougher than that. Sanchru. Well, I will change to Charmander. Uh, Ember. What does Ember do? Well, not that much, honestly. But it's not not uh, ineffective. So at least there's that. No, not send, not send attack, please. No, <laughs> so close. Nah, oh, I didn't miss. I I thought now I would start missing like crazy. And all right, junior trainer. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Well, clever boy. Uh, so that's Brock up there. Um, I will probably have to train a bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, level 12 is not enough. I think. Or is it? Is it level 12 and 14 on Brock's Pokemon? Or 9 and 12? I don't remember. I will be training a bit in between episodes and will be meeting you back for the gym battle. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have enjoyed and see you next time. Goodbye.